Hi friends, good day. Today, let us try to understand about what is CAGR. CAGR for mutual funds. What are the uses of CAGR? What are the advantages and disadvantages of CAGR through this video? According to Ben Graham, in the short run, the market is a voting machine, but in the long run, it is a weighing machine. Please subscribe for more videos. Click the bell icon for updates. CAGR CAGR is compound annual growth rate of an investment over a specific period of time or the cumulative performance of a particular variable over a significant period of time. It is used to measure relative profitability of business, determine returns for individual assets, investment portfolio and anything that can raise and fall in value over time. It is basically a performa number that tells you what an investment yields on an annually compounded basis, which means reinvesting the profits at the end of each year of the investment's lifespan, indicating the investors what they can have at the end of investment period. As an investor, it helps you to compare the return on two different alternatives. It provides insights on how well one investment has or will perform against another. Stock market investors, business investors and private lenders use the compound annual growth rate to take important investment decisions. CAGR does not reflect the risk of investment. CAGR for mutual funds In the case of an investment path such as mutual funds, you need to figure out whether or not it is worth investing. You need ways to calculate your success over a given period of time. The fact sheet of the mutual fund would provide the fund with growth rates over different time horizons. Judging the fund's output based on multiple factors may seem confusing. On the contrary, if you could know how it grew every year, then things would come simpler. By providing you with a single annual growth rate, CAGR will help. Besides this, the principle of compound interest is also placed in the scene. To calculate returns, most investment strategies, including mutual funds, use compound interest. CAGR would therefore be an acceptable way to measure the quality of the investment. CAGR is equal to end value divided by beginning value to the power of 1 divided by n minus 1 where n is equal to investment period. For example, assume ABC invested rupees 1000 in an ELSS fund for 3 years, while the total NAV value remained rupees 1000 for the first year, it increased to rupees 1100 in the second year. Upon maturity of this fund, final NAV stood at rupees 1300. Let's see year and NAV in rupees. First year, it is 1000. For the second year, it is 1100. Third year, it is 1300. Therefore, CAGR growth is equal to end value divided by beginning value to the power of 1 divided by n minus 1, which is equal to 1300 divided by 1000 to the power of 1 divided by 3 minus 1. So, the CAGR value is equal to 9.13%. Uses of CAGR CAGR of total returns in the stock market describes the rate of growth in an average return generated. Before investing in any security in the stock market, comparing the expected rate of return with the CAGR is vital. As it describes, whether the investment is profitable or not. CAGR helps individuals analyze the long-term growth of a company 
excluding all short term variations. It helps to eliminate the unsystematic risk associated with stock market instruments owing to variations in the economic conditions of a country. As CAGR smoothens out short term variations and hence reflects the growth rate pro forma, excluding non recurring fluctuations. Investors can get a clear idea about the performance of a company due to its internal structure. For long term investment purposes, comparing the compounded annual rate is crucial to understand whether a stock market tool is a value investment tool or not. Value investment tools often demonstrate high CAGRs for an extended period, which effectively eliminates any short term variation. Investing in value stocks helps individuals realize a substantial rate of return, facilitating capital gains in the long run. It is important to remember two things when using CAGR. Number one, the CAGR does not reflect investment risk. Number two, you must use the same time periods. Investment returns are volatile, meaning they can vary significantly from one year to another. However, CAGR does not reflect volatility. CAGR is a pro forma number that provides a smoothened annual yield. So it can give the illusion that there is a steady growth rate even when the value of the underlying investment can vary significantly. This volatility or investment risk is important to consider when making an investment decision. What are the advantages of CAGR? CAGR is one of the most reliable ways of estimating the return on an investment which increases and decreases in value over the investment period. CAGR helps investors to compare different time horizons to investments. CAGR allows risk-free investments to measure returns from a particular investment. It also allows you to determine whether the risk taking premium is sufficiently high. Disadvantages of CAGR The investment risk is not taken into account by CAGR. It does not reflect the uncertainty of the investment value as CAGR represents a steady growth over the investment period. In addition, CAGR implies a constant rate of growth. During the investment cycle, the profitability of an asset with inflows and outflows cannot be measured in CAGR. It is because the CAGR just measures the return rate on the basis of the portfolio's initial and financial balance. The CAGR does not indicate anything about the sales. It might have happened in the initial years or in the last year. Some companies might have higher growth in the initial year and some at the end of the tenure. Many times it happens that two companies reflect the same CAGR. The reason behind it is that the growth for one company was faster in the initial years whereas the growth of the other happened in the last year. CAGR can be used for investments made for 3 to 7 years tenure. If it is more than 10 years, CAGR may hide the subtrends in between. Well, thank you so much for watching. Please like this video and do share.